FOMO is just an acronym for the fear of missing out. It's been around for a while, definitely since before recorded history. Unfortunately, it's not going away anytime soon, especially now with more channels and avenues that help foster this fear. You know, like social media, video games, gadgets, and our personal devices. Basically, it's the new modern version of FOMO. The good news is there is hope, and we're going to talk about some of the triggers and causes of this social madness. So stay focused and try to channel yourself to consume this information. Let me start out by saying a big thank you. And if you're new here, my name is Wilder One, holistic health coach, lover of wisdom, and personal trainer. You're here today at Body Mind Connection. This channel talks about self-improvement, philosophy, and healing. Stay tuned guys because by the end of this video, we'll talk about some remedies to help mitigate FOMO. It seems to me that the overall energy of the world is akin to a higher level of anxiety. We now all live a life of reaction and less of stillness and contemplation. Nowadays we have a cycle of addiction that, require us, that requires us to keep our minds stimulated at all times. Our natural desire for curiosity has consumed us by our human need to feel love, companionship, and respect from our peers. Feeling a sense of belonging, love, and respect is a trait of human nature, but a lot of us are no longer in control. Here are a few negative examples of FOMO. Checking your phone and scrolling endlessly, aimlessly, wasting lots of time. Waking up in the morning and first thing, checking your phone for any updates, emails, or any social media events. Chronically checking news media outlets for updated news and unnecessary information. Purposely forgetting your most important tasks in life, especially the ones with deadlines, just so you can get to that party and not miss out. So there's those and lots, lots more. With all this time wasted, at some point you want to ask yourself, have my goals and values been put on the back burner just so I can please my ego now? If yes is the answer, then you may be under the control of FOMO. And that's when you need to do something for sure. So falling prey to the negative effects of FOMO causes human connection to grow weaker, along with focus and attention. And you can imagine what that could do for your goals and your values in life. So now that we have an idea of what FOMO is and how it can affect our lives, Let's go ahead and talk about some remedies and get this resolved. We as individuals need to constantly re-examine our values and perspectives so that we can verify whether or not we're on the right path for ourselves as individuals. Those of us that are under the control of FOMO tend to be less active and we tend to use our bodies less frequently. We also tend to stay away from activities that engage our creativity. So we need to look for ways, we need to be creative and find ways to engage our mind and body. So one can use meditation or any kind of technique that enhances your awareness. So being aware of FOMO can help you control it and you want to set up times of relaxation and rejuvenation just for yourself. Be conscious of exactly how you want to live your life and try and set daily lists of things to be completed. This will help you mitigate and control FOMO. Keep track or even set time limits for your daily activities, even if you have to use a timer. Constantly ask if those activities are in line with your values, and you might even have to change your values. Get better at saying no to the ego. My ego, for example, always wants to do anything it wants on a whim, whenever it wants to, but I must be very decisive and continue on with the to-do list that I must complete. So what about our perspective? We can use our perspective to change our reality of FOMO. So let's FOMO on health. Let's FOMO on sleep. Why don't we FOMO on being there for our loved ones? How about FOMO on fresh air? Maybe even FOMO on building stronger neurons. And if you want more time and less anxiety, we can even go as far as practicing JOMO. So what's JOMO? The joy of missing out. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for joining me today here at Body Mind Connection. Keep watching for more videos with this kind of content. If you like the videos, please like and subscribe and hit the bell notification button as well. 
It definitely helped me out a lot and it'll help me keep producing these videos for you that I hope you enjoy. And don't forget, the stronger connected, the stronger protected.